Uh, Michael, before we talk about the game, a couple of things have happened since we last saw you. Joven signing his new contract, reward for an impressive year for him. Yeah, I think so. It's just reward. I think it's great to um, tie Joven down a little bit as well from our point of view. So I think I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy that the deal's been agreed and we can crack on and his future's bright. If he keeps working in the way and keeps on his trajectory, he's got um, still a long way to go, I think, to make to make the next steps with us or with someone else. But what's really pleasing is, um, yeah, we both agreed a deal as a club and, and Jovan to, to move forward. And I think, like you say, over the last you know few months with me, he's, he's grown and he's grown and he's becoming a real real good threat for us on that top line. When I spoke to him last week, what came across to me is a, a newfound maturity that came across. Yeah, and sometimes that takes um, takes a bit of time with young players and part of their development is becoming more mature and being more consistent with their actions in training and in games. And Joe Man's always had the tools and the talent, but he needs to be more consistent. And I think what we're seeing now is him being a, a good pro and more consistent pro. FA Cup, Chesham away? Yes, I think I've said it You know, this week to a lot of people. I love the FA Cup and I think it's the beauty of it is these games and... Um, we're going to have to be on it because I'm sure they will be and it's you know it's no easy game and um, but we will treat it as any other game because we want to go through like any team so um, but I love the FA Cup because this is what it brings whether we're trying to beat somebody in the Premier League or uh, you know a National League team's trying to beat us there's no easy games in the FA Cup that's, and that's the beauty of it as I say and Lincoln's recent history proves it doesn't it going to chip number a couple of years ago who were National League South and losing even this week we had a local game where Boston were two leagues above Gainsborough and lost you can't take these club, these games for granted no I think you know in one off games low scoring games of football things can happen and I think that's that's why cup games are really exciting I think over the course of the season you know over nine or ten games these teams win but in reality in a one off game it is what it is and you have to be on it and you can't make mistakes and sometimes you know the the underdog can, can go and do what they've done like you say Gainsborough and, uh, and Boston United but um, we just have to focus on ourselves and be good make sure we're good on the day um, so that we can uh, get through to the next round and that's what we want to do. Has the blank Saturday helped you clear up some injuries? Uh, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit not so we, we've, we've picked up a few body, uh, bodies that we didn't think we had injuries wise so um, we, we've got Jacko as a late, late one, late fitness test because he's he's felt something um, from Grimsby, but we'll see how he is. Um, see if that he can do that one make make Saturday. If not, um, we might have to send him for a scan. But um, yeah, but Hamo's back. Rico's got his minutes and had a little bit of a niggle, but he's now back in full training. Housey's back um, in full training. Um, so we're looking good. Um, the two international boys have come back. Sean and JJ have come back fresh. I say fresh, but come back not not injured. So they're ready in contention to start again. So we're healthy. Um, we could be more healthy. Um, but yeah, we'll see. A couple of things from that. Getting Ben House back, that's great, isn't it? Because you've got two young strikers really pushing. And now you've got your, your experienced striker coming back to push them even further. Yeah, I think it's great. I think Ben House gives us so much. And like you say, he's probably the most experienced on our top line with, with Tyler out at the minute. Um, so he gives us a lot of experience. And he, he does a lot for us in... in off the ball stuff as well as on the ball and he was looking a real threat um, before he got his concussion so his, his nose is good his concussion protocols have, have finalised so so he's all good the only other one to talk about is Tom Bayliss is, you know, he's, he's done his, his knee ligaments in the Barnsley game so he's actually going to be out for a bit of time I forgot to mention that one but yeah we've lost Tom in the window which was actually after the Barnsley game straight away so he's going to be out for you know a few months so with that in mind perhaps the fact that JJ went away scored on international duty I know Sean did as well uh, is a plus yeah and Sean's done well JJ's gone away and done well and his JJ's done well when he's been been coming on and doing well for us when he started um, Jack Moylan's been doing well he found Hamilton's back you know we've got we've got good options in there you know Dom Jeffries has done really well for us but he can also play in there I thought uh, Jack Moylan and Dom Jeffries at, at Grimsby did really well um in that game as well so we've, we've got options which is again it comes back down to our, our strategy of having the depth we knew we might start to hit injuries especially as these Saturday Tuesdays start coming um, but we've got the depth to, to deal with it and Just briefly on, on Bayliss are you thinking more likely earlier in the new year if you're going to have him back? Um, we're not sure yet we're not sure it's how he reacts um, he's had a scan it's, it's whether or not he needs surgery um, but we're not sure yet that's probably come a bit clearer than in the next couple of weeks with, with the medical team with Wacker and uh, with Josh what a game to have to come back to, though. What? Birmingham. Birmingham. Oh, I thought you meant. Sorry, I thought you meant for Tom Bayliss. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, no, it's um, they've been away. Obviously, we've had a bit of a breather, and then we're going into obviously the team that's top of the league. And you know, Birmingham are a really good team. They're a really strong team. You can see that they've, you know, they've got really good players, um, and we've got to be on it. There's no doubt about that. But you know, we don't want to. We don't want to be passive. We're at home. We want to try and take the game to them. So, you know, we might have to think a little bit differently about what we do on the day. But um, we saw them play Charlton, and Charlton were really good against them. Um, so yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a tough game. And we're going to have to be really on it to get the three points, but hopefully so are they to get the, if they want the three points. They're a team that like to dominate possession. I think they're sixty-five percent. I'd say your team are one that's comfortable not having to always have possession. In terms of off the ball work, when you're you know not having possession, how much of your your time is spent dealing with that? Because it's clearly going to be a big part of the game on Saturday. Yeah, they like to probably. You know, they're a good team, you know, Chris has done some really good work with them. I think sometimes, you know, they've obviously spent a lot of money, but you've still got to put a team together, you've still got to coach a team, and it's a really tough job, I think it's a really tough job, there's high expectations there, and you can see the way the team are playing, they, they play some really good football, you know, the three box three, or three three two five, and how they rotate is really hard to play against, uh, and they're probably the best in the business in our league for doing that, but... We'll have plans, we'll have ways of dealing with that, especially off the ball, we know what we've got to do, but we want to be aggressive, we want to be um, getting after them at home and it, as much as we can. Easier said than done, um, but we'll, have, we'll definitely have a structure and a setup to, to try and deal with them. And finally, I understand you're involved in a charity effort at the moment, do you want to tell us a bit more about it? Yep, uh, Prostate uh, United, uh, doing 5k every day, my legs are in bits at the minute because I think I've done 16, 17 days and some late nights, so yeah, it's just a privilege to be, you know, helping out for the charity, for the academy, and there's a few staff doing it myself, yeah, there's a few of the academy staff, so uh, if anybody can help on that, it'd be great just for a good cause, which is, you know, um, something that's good to get involved with.